All right, what's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back, more tech, more reviews. This is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Just picked it up. Um, <laughs> I got some thoughts about it, and we will be talking about it in a future video. I had to go ahead and take the band off, the original band that came with it. I went ahead and took it off and put the Pataka uh, Airman Fiber Band on. Love this band, had to get it on as soon as I got it. Like I said, we are going to do a full, like full on review on this, but I wanted to actually bring you this video first, because the first thing I like to do is change up all my notifications and my ringtones and Samsung took that away from us, but I found a little way around it. So let's talk. All right, so as mentioned, um, this video is specifically about how to add those different customized notifications and ringtones to your device. So we will need this device that's back here in the background, that's the Galaxy Z Fold 5, uh, because it is the device that is connected to my watch, my six. Now, first thing you gotta do is download whatever media you want to this device. So once you get your songs, ringtones, whatever, download it on here. The next thing you're gonna do is open up the Galaxy wearable application. Once the Galaxy wearable application is open, you are going to go to manage content. Uh, from that point, you're gonna go to tracks on watch. You're going to hit the little add button at the top. What we wanna do is add a track. So I want the Power Ranger. I think that's the Power Ranger. <laughs> Hopefully that's the Power Ranger. I like that on my watch as my notification. So I'm gonna hit add to watch. Yes, it is the Power Ranger. It is connecting to watch and you're gonna to have to enable all these permissions when you first turn it on. So just keep that in mind. And that is this watch. Yeah, I already got the Jetsons doorbell on there. So. In real time, we saw that I already got notifications, uh, custom notifications on here. All right, so now that the Power Ranger track is on here, we can kind of sit this to the side in the background and we're gonna specifically work with this watch. Now, the application that you actually wanna go and download from the Play Store is gonna be the File Explorer. So you come into here and you just hit F-I-L-E, or you can swipe E-X-P-L-O-R-E-R, -E <laughs> explore. I'm gonna hit File Explore. And these are, the, these are the apps that are gonna come up. So Myware, go buy that one, don't download it. My uh, File Manager, don't download that one. The third one, File Explore FTP Server, download this one the red application with the white folder in the middle once you get it downloaded you're going to open it up and this is what it's going to look like and when you come in here it's going to actually take you to the internal storage you're going to click on those three little hashes up in the corner and it's going to open up all your files so from here i want to go into music i want to go into the galaxy wearable folder once I'm in there, these are all the tunes and the tones that I've already put on this. You even got some Otis Redding right here. So let's just let's just do this. I, I want the Power Ranger, but I just don't know which one it is. Um, all right, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this down, and I'm going to. Select a bunch of them and all that. And I'm just selecting a bunch of them that I got in here. And hopefully one of these will work. All right, so hopefully one of these is gonna be the Power Ranger ringtone. I'm going to hit the little rectangles for the copy. Once it is copied, I'm gonna hit those three hashes again. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top to where it says the internal storage. Once I'm inside the internal storage, I'm going to scroll down, 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 until I see notifications. It is at this point where I will open the notifications. Now this is in the internal storage. You already see Jetson's MP3 in there. I got that ringtone already in. 
I'm going to now add these, or sorry, I'm going to now copy these to this spot and you should start seeing these pour in. Now, I don't know what all these are. I got some crazy ones on here, but now let's go into the actual watch settings and see if we can see them. So I'm gonna go back home. I'm going to now go into the settings. Once I'm in the settings, I am going to find my sound and vibration from there. I'm going to scroll until I find my notifications. And within my notifications, I got now some new ones. So I got the Hadouken. 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 Ken, Hadouken, Street Fighter. Intro. My favorite, Power Ranger. There we go. Our notification set, Power Ranger, Risk Communicator. We got everything we need. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Go ahead and enjoy that Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. This will work for all those other watches as well. And it will even work for the five that I had. So that is a workaround for the five. I'll update you if anything changes. So there is one more final thing that I want you to do. I want you to go into your settings. I want you to go to software update and I want you to turn off the automatic update. Now this will, if, if you do get an automatic update and Samsung patches this again, then you won't be affected. You will still be able to use your ringtones and things like that, that you put on there. But if you do automatic updates, they can just update at any time and patch it once they find out that we figured this out. But hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.